This is my to-do list. First stop is an hour from here and it will be Burger King because we're having that for dinner. Good morning, it's Thursday. It is prep day for our road trip tonight. So I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done today. Maybe my list is a bit too long and I'm probably gonna hopefully not stress out too much <laughs> about not being able to get everything done. I'm gonna at least try. So this is my to-do list. I'm going to try my best to work through that before 4 p.m. today so we're hoping and planning to leave at 4 p.m. possibly gonna leave at 5 p.m. but it's gonna be a long drive and yeah I just want to get a lot of the stuff done before we go so first thing first is also just doing some more washing so
Alexander and I are quickly gonna pop out and we're gonna go to the petrol station and fill up the car for our road trip this afternoon. We're back home now and now I just have to pack our clothes and then we have to pack the car and then we're ready to go hit the road I'm very excited <laughs> weekend it's currently 4 22 p.m i just want to say a quick prayer of our drive dear lord jesus please keep us safe on the road please send your angels to be with us and protect us god thank you so much for the opportunity to go and see family and friends this weekend god we just ask that you bless this weekend and that you be with us the entire time that we can feel your presence with us throughout this whole weekend and God I pray that you that you sh that you shower down your blessings on Joe who is having his birthday tomorrow God I pray that he feels renewed on the day that he celebrates his birthday and I pray that you just, um, yeah, love on us this weekend and be with us and protect us on the road. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. We are so excited to go up north this weekend um, to spend some time with some family and friends. And we're so excited to bring you guys along. So, first stop is an hour from here and it will be Burger King. So we're having that for dinner. I think when you were approaching 30, you were like, Oh no, I'm actually getting old. I still feel that way, I'm just pretending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mom, we wanted to try this too. We got two. Strawberry Sundays. Danica did actually cry having a burger the other day. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. Are they the Griffin ones? You said? Miss Higgins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's putting beef jerky on his pizza. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my goodness, my love. We are about to have the best summer of our lives. <laughs> and you make it so much. That is so nice. <laughs> now you get your all the pizzas you want. Oh my goodness. How cool, eh? <laughs> and you feed it with pellets. With pellets? Yeah, so it's like actual wood fire pizza. No way. And then we got you. <laughs> Is it a 13 kg bag of pellets? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Oh, Dad, don't bring that out. That's the too old, heavy. Oh, bag. <laughs> Far out. That's so right. forever. This is so cool. So nice, oh. eh? 
Oh, oh, it's so nice. So instead of having a barbecue tonight, then we could have pizza. Yeah, mate, just open it. Why not? Yeah, always. <laughs> Dad, have you had wood fire pizza like this before? No. <laughs> How about that? But once there's nobody seen you back, Yeah, you're following Bonkin. She's gonna take you on an adventure. <laughs> Look at Snowy. So the camera's working now? Yeah, I fixed it. I just had to pull it apart, like I told you. You should try the, I thought Joe would like the raspberry and white chocolate ones from the same brand. Mm. So good. Raspberry white chocolate. Taste and salt it. Mama, this one's good, Mama. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Jim, I'm helping myself again. He loves taking birds off things. Yeah. Alexander got into the lolly jar that's on my mum's living room <laughs> coffee table filled with pink lollies. I'm excited to see how it all, like, this would probably be the plate that the pizza goes on. Everybody comment down below. Happy birthday, Jazz! Oh, ready. So many interesting pieces, like this. Like a ceramic tile? Yeah, that's where you put that. That's the thing that gets hot, I think. That's where the actual pizza it cooks goes on? on yeah. Ta-da! We cooked the pizza in there. Exciting. Thanks, Danica. Really appreciate it. This is so cool. These are so yum. Thank you. Good morning, guys. It is a Friday. It's Joe's birthday today. We are in a completely different town. We're not really in the city. We drove about eight hours yesterday and we arrived at like 11 last night. I just realized I didn't put any moisturizer on and I don't know if I'm going to regret that or not. But the road trip here was okay. It was a little bit hard but you know we're here now and we're just so grateful to be with family this weekend. I'm really excited about today because today we are going to a strawberry picking farm. They do the best strawberries ever and they're huge. So hopefully these ones are massive. And we're also going to go to my sister's citizenship ceremony. She finally got her citizenship and I actually haven't been to one of these ceremonies even though I got my citizenship but I got mine during COVID so that's when they were like well, it's not long distancing what do you call it social distancing and they didn't really have these ceremonies available during that time and the same with my parents they got their citizenship during COVID as well so they didn't get to go to a ceremony so it's going to be interesting to see what the ceremony is like I am a little bit tired 
and I think I'm just in a bit of pain at the moment when it comes to my pelvic bones and pubic bone area. You've got so much relaxin in your body, the relaxin hormone in your body that your joints just kind of like, it's kind of a weird concept but the way that I think about it is like they're floating around in your body. <laughs> and so if you've got bone marrow in between any of your bones that kind of just like floats in between your joints and that often gets pinched and that's where you get the pain from. The pain that my midwife diagnosed me with is SPD. I had it with Alexander as well. This time around it's not as bad. With Alexander it was excruciating. I don't know if it's going to get worse or not. I'm hoping it doesn't. But yeah, she basically just said, you can't work out. You can't really. I was like, I want to start going to the gym again. And she was like, no, you're going to just aggravate it. And then I said to her, well, can I go at least for like walks and stuff? And she's like, only if walking is comfortable for you. And it's not. And yeah, so I think the form of active stuff that I'm gonna do is like stretching and they've also booked me in for like a physio appointment on the 25th of october so i'll take you guys along to that and it's at the hospital so i don't know what it's gonna be like but apparently it's like an hour appointment they will be teaching me different exercises and moves to do to help with the pain and like is it alleviate it that's basically all the updates i have for you it is such nice weather up north i really i'm feeling just at peace. I'm so stoked that we got Joe a pizza oven. He loves pizza so much. So we're gonna have that for dinner tonight. And I'm really excited to see what the pizza's gonna look like. I don't know if I've told you, but I've had a really hard time with my eyelashes. I feel like I've lost all of them. But this mascara from Maybelline, I've got the mini version. I need to get the big one because this mascara actually makes me like my eyelashes. Any other mascaras just make me hate them. <laughs> it's actually 10 minutes on the camera as well. Um, quick little 10 minute makeup routine. Just to feel a little fresh. I really need to sort my hair out. And it's just a bit like flat and oily. So... I might have to get some dry shampoo. But for now, this is the finished look. There we go. Mm, I'm so happy to be around family. Eee! My sister just made me some sourdough toast with butter on it. Yeah. And you can tell that she knows me. Because <laughs> she puts like butter on it and then waits for it to melt and then she puts more butter on it. She just knows me. Because I so like good. It. Spread butter mm -hmm. all over the bread. Not oh, missing corners. <laughs> and if you put peanut butter and butter, it should be the same thickness. <laughs> Got a little friend here with me. This is Pumpkin. Or we call her Poopkin. I'm allergic to cats. Fun fact about me. But I don't care. I can't actually have any um, antihistamine whilst pregnant either. So I don't know what I'm going to do if I do get a little bit sniffly. It's okay. Oh, that sun is so nice. Oh, you just love pets, don't you? We're just currently waiting for Alexander to wake up from his nap. He needs to catch up on a bit of sleep um, today, so we're just letting him snooze. But I'm just over here editing some of the vlog for yesterday. I just thought that I would ask on camera how Joe feels about being 32. <laughs> I don't want to say you're thick in the 30s because you're not. I think like <laughs> 38 is like thick in the 30s. But how do you feel about being 32? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah? I never thought I'd be 32, you know? <laughs> I always thought I'd be, like, in my 20s. Forever. Forever, yeah. <laughs> but, um, I'm cool with it. Like, 
Life just keeps getting more meaningful and... I um, love that. <laughs> it's good. I think when you were approaching 30, you were like, Oh no, I'm actually getting old. I still feel that way, I'm just pretending. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not like being in your 30s? Or is it your 30s like a scary number for you? That's just weird. I'm really excited to turn 30. Yeah? Oh, I think 30s are going to be some of like my best years ever. Maybe that's 40s for you. <laughs> my best years ever, 40s? Yeah. I always think about um, Steve Carell, mm. who uh, got his big first breakout role on The Office when he was in his 40s. Yeah, it's never too late. I feel like when you are in your 30s, you're, you feel like you're running out of time. But I think being reminded that, hey, people get their breakthroughs in their 40s sometimes. Yeah. It makes you feel like, oh, so there's still lots of time for me to do what I want to do. Yeah. So Joe's got some very exciting news. Um, well, it's a step in the, the direction of having really exciting news. You know? Yeah, well, it's just in his industry and in his career. Um, for those of you who don't know, Joe is a visual fix artist. So he makes movies, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he makes them look really cool. So there's probably some movies that you guys have watched that he's worked on, like... Avatar 2, he's worked on really big movies like Avengers Endgame, Elite Battle Angel, Planet of the Apes. Avatar 2 was probably like a huge one because the section or the visual effects got an Oscar. So that's pretty crazy. But you continue saying what the exciting news is. Yeah, so my name's been put forward for a VES award, Visual Effects Society, I think. <laughs> But I haven't been nominated. My name's just been put forward. And so if I get nominated, then I might win an award for visual effects, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And then he has to go and attend the award gala, which is held. In LA. LA. Yeah. So you could potentially go to LA next year. That'd be pretty cool. Very exciting. Very proud. That's like a Thank you. little birthday present for yourself too. Yeah, it's wild. I never you think that like that would have some sort of recognition like that. It's really cool. We've got a little awake man, so just wanted to end our conversation. Mm. With, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You should be very proud of yourself too. Thank you. <laughs> he's extremely good at what he does, but he's very humble about <laughs> it. <laughs> Potentially LA. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I love traveling and any chance to go anywhere new is like, the best time of my life so. <laughs> yeah. well if you do go when you do go not if i'm pretty sure he's gonna go you should vlog it for us and we'd love yeah, yeah that'd be cool wouldn't that be fun guys anyway such exciting stuff today yeah <laughs> we've got our awake little man now and now we can hit the road we've got bed here wow Oh, he's so excited. He loves being outside so much. Look at his little outfit. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling my sister this trick. She just came back from her citizenship ceremony and they gave her a plant, mm -hmm. like a little tree, and she wants to know what this plant is. And you can take a photo. Do you remember the other day I asked in my vlog, is this strawberries? Like, because I found like strawberries. Oh, our boot's like broken, so I don't want to open it and like hold it, but I don't have to. My boot's broken too. Is it actually? Yeah. I hate it. Have we got the same card, don't we? Yeah, going grocery shopping. Oh, it's the worst. And then you get random men come up to you, like, do you want me to help you? Like, do I need just get a help? That would just look weird. I know, yeah, boot mark blonde. Okay, so this is the plant. This is what it looks like. And then you take a photo of the plant. Like that. And then it'll scan it, the photo, and then at the bottom there's this like icon. 
and then you can go look up plant. It's a necklace pot and shrubs in the pea family, but it's also a Chinese elm. Fun little thing you know now. So yeah, we got the strawberry cup, which is the Whitaker's strawberry chalk cup, and that is what it looks like. It's like the viral TikTok thing where you make strawberries and then you melt chocolate all over it. <laughs> what? We got two strawberry sundaes. Yeah. Oh. I'm vlogging, Dad. <laughs> Happy birthday, lunch, Joe! Thank you, this food. Happy birthday, lunch. <laughs> You've got a wet wipe in the background. Yep, always gotta have my trusty wipes. <laughs> <laughs> this food is making you feel really good. Yeah. I'm getting like the warm fuzzies. Oh, I'm gonna get emotional. I cried when I had a burger this week. She yeah. actually, Danica did actually cry having a burger that day. It's from like some chicken place. It's like it's just grass. <laughs> okay, we're done at the strawberry farm now, and we're just picking up some stuff for dinner tonight to make our pizzas. We couldn't pick any strawberries, unfortunately. They're not ready yet, so we'll have to come do that another day. We just got home. Um, we went to Posties for a bit and we did some shopping. Whenever we come here, we always love to go to Posties because the Posties here is so big and Posties is just so underrated and like the best place to shop. So I got myself some pajamas because I didn't pack any and I'm so uncomfortable. I kind of want to get into pajamas and just feel cozy, <laughs> even though we're going to like be cooking dinner in the garden. I want to be doing that in my pajamas, so. I really like how this fits. I said this morning that we're going to make the dough ourselves. No, we're not. So my mom bought four kgs of this, so. It's five kilos. Five kilos. Oh, wait, no, they're all the kgs. Yeah. They rise as well. But I think we'll make, it smells so good. It smells like good drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make pizza this thing is giving me so much grief today we're gonna make pizza and then also fig cook which is fried that, bread flat bread fried bread fried bread if you directly translate it it's fat cake okay <laughs> sissy you did too much can i you want to open it oh my goodness so like i said we went to posties and then my sister 
got me a girl clothing haul. How many items do you have in this room? These are the cookies that my sister baked this morning. Are they the Griffin ones? You said? Miss Higgins. Oh. <laughs> Griffin's don't have cookies that you can. No, they make the pre packaged ones. <laughs> Mum also got one of them. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's just a little. Can I the socks too? Yeah. They make this one. Mmm. It says love fuck on it. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Now I think of you like actually every time I put that on. Yeah. This is so cute. So many different sizes too because it's always good to I love that. Thank you. Mm. We got some very cutesy pink non slip. <laughs> <laughs> Not like I can walk it. <laughs> Suckies. In this gorgeous floral. Oh. Girls really just have their best clothes, don't they? They honestly do. So cute. The print is so sweet. Mm -hmm. And then this one. There's like a onesie, a vest, a bib, and then a little thing. <laughs> That's so cute. I love this so much. The little onesie has print on it too. Yeah, what does it say? You're my sunshine. So cute! Give me all the pink stuff. I've got this one. And it's really special because it says a love bug on it. And my sister's baby shower for her baby was themed love bug. So mm -hmm. this will remind me of my sister. That's so sweet. <laughs> Look at it! It's so tiny. I really forget how small they are. Mm -hmm. Oh, with a little <laughs> matching shorts. Pants. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I feel like that's so you cool. <laughs> Stop. This is so cute. The little frilly. You are literally going to have a tiny baby. <laughs> this is so sweet. Thank you so much, Sissy. Okay. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I love these girl hauls that I've been getting lately. <sighs> oh, everything's going to be pink and pretty, eh? Oh. The more pink, the merrier. Mm. <laughs> you have to do it yourself, Dada. I'm trying to get in the okay. uh, pellets. There you go. I grab my handle. And they go in here. Go in there. You go in there. Yeah, and you light them. But we light it in here. Yeah. Um, and then we wait a little while, and then apparently we'll start seeing flames coming out here. Mmm. Put the other scoop in here. Mm-hmm. And then we will end up seeing flames come out here again. Mm-hmm. And then we know that it's ready to cook. Do you want to show us the inside? And then the inside. Is wow. This. So that's the like thing you cook on. Do you like your birthday present? I love it. I cannot believe this one. Can get ones that are like gas as well, but I wanted to get you one that actually like burns wood. Yeah. Essentially to get that wood fire. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. so this one was okay. the way to go. And my mum is trying to get Alex on this week. <laughs> How many pizzas are we making? We're making one each, eh? Right? But now you're making six, one more. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to get it. So it's like, I'm sorry. Yeah, but I'll keep it in the air.
I put pineapple on my pizza, guys. I Judge love, me. I love pineapple on pizza. Can I say hi to the camera, Dad? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> my dad's putting beef jerky on his pizza. Oh, what's up, too? <laughs> Who puts beef jerky on pizza? Oh, yeah. We're getting the pizza oven started now. Woohoo! Have to read the manual. And fire lighters? Hmm. Alrighty. And then we gotta. Hey, look at the flames. Look at the flames. You must think of video of that, John. Flames are coming out the top already. Wild. Can you believe that? Huh? Wow. It's smoking. That now, is wild. Now I must get my own somewhere. The fire is in there, and then it's somehow like going through the pizza oven and then ends up, up there. here. It's all crazy. This that's doing, I think. Oh, some cool stuff. Barum. That's cool, eh? I like this little thing. Crazy. I keep thinking I can just grab it. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that'll be really hot. Enjoy your... Uh... Oh yeah, this is cool. Happy birthday, Josh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All the right. flames This is so cool. Check this out. Whoa. Yeah, so we've got to add some more in and then hopefully we'll see the flames coming out the top again because it's cooled down too much. Yeah, maybe a couple of scoops would be a good idea. Woohoo! So we wait for the flame? We've got to wait for the flame and then we can put the feet on. Now he's in this. <laughs> it's lacquer. <laughs> do you have a um do you have a chopping board? This is the before yeah. of my pizza. Look. The flame's going out. So I can put it in now. Yes, so cute. Okay. Would you like to do it? Yeah. Um, it's just really hard to get it off unless you want to get, do it. It looks cool, eh? In the inside. It's been a bit difficult to figure it out, but we got a pizza cooking. Woohoo! Happy birthday to you. Because I've eaten tons of pizza and they've got some dessert and I did a burp before and I was like, ooh, I got some more space now. I just had bubbles. You're so funny. <laughs> 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 